Digital Photography 101, or Digital Camera Basics, is a week-long module that I created with a group, and it's for the novice photographer, and they will embark on a journey that will introduce basic techniques of digital photography. At the end of the module, the budding photographer will be iPhoto Savvy and Digital Camera Savvy. Each student will use iPhoto to create a media product that will be shared with others, displayed to show understanding and creativity. These lessons are a tool to create excitement, to entertain, and to intrigue the students so that a genuine interest in digital photography will develop. Students are encouraged to work at a comfortable pace to allow time for through exploration, practice, and reflection. Students begin the lesson learning the basics. They will view a short video on the homepage that represents an overall view of the project, and students can work at their own pace by completing each section of the module. They will answer a short survey asking them questions about their digital photography experience and they then they will view basic camera information including information on pixels, aperture, and speed. Students will go through the process of learning how to use a digital camera effect. Students are encouraged to work at their own pace and a comfortable pace to allow time for them to explore, practice, and reflect. Um, the lesson will be condensed to only include one basic skill set each day the students will complete. I believe the self-directed scenario template will work best with my lesson because the lesson is designed for students to work at their own pace and level. I will not worry too much about students skipping their parts. This is really informational for them. I would like for them to start at the point where they need the resource. The end result or the project they create will determine to me if they utilize their resources to the fullest. They also have to complete a short assessment tool in between and at the end of their project so they can determine if they are meeting the objectives before the end product is done. The You Do Teach, teach tool has been added to my Facebook page. My um, participants can be, in, I will invite participants to participate in this learning module. They can view it um, through You Do to Teach if they have um, added that feature to their Facebook page and they can work at their own pace through the modules and provide feedback. I also receive an activity report showing their uh, completed stages in the process and how well they did. Most likely I will add a post to my Facebook page showing that I have this tool available. I can also invite individual friends and they can provide me with feedback and they can add um, discussion and posts to my particular page. Anyone who is interested in digital photography or learning how to use iPhoto would benefit greatly from this module. Any learner from a small child all the way up to adults, they can all benefit from learning this particular module. It, it is very interactive. It is also very easy to follow. So even an eight-year-old can follow it just as well as a 25-year-old. Just depends on where you are in the module and how you will use it for your benefit. Learning management systems provide so much um, of a challenge for us as teachers and our students to provide them with um, experiences in education that are unlike the ones that they have in, had in the past. It gives you opportunities to really give students um, the chance to get real world experiences within the classroom. And some students who had trouble writing or had trouble following um, the traditional classroom method of teaching can easily work at their own pace or, or provide interactive modules and tools that will keep them engaged in their learning. I think the learning management system features that are provided for um, students.